Hello, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Soprano Nova Ukulele from Enya. The brand did send me this ukulele, just so that you know, but I love this brand. I use their ukuleles in my videos all the time, so that's why I wanted to share it with you. If you're new to this channel, welcome! My name is Abby Lyons. I'm a singer-songwriter. I'm actually a classically trained piano player and I've been playing ukulele for I think eight years now. I make lots of videos and tutorials on YouTube and I also work for Fender Play as one of their ukulele instructors. So welcome to the channel. Please subscribe if you would like and now let's get started with the review. So one of the things that I really like about the Enya brand is that their ukuleles come with accessories included and the first accessory that comes with this ukulele is super essential, it is a case. So here's the case that comes with the Soprano ukulele. It's a semi-hard case, so it's somewhat squishy, <laughs> but it's also hard enough to protect your ukulele. On the side, we have this handle right here. And on the back, you have an adjustable strap, which is a new feature, so you can wear it like a backpack. I will say one thing is that it doesn't have a front pocket, so if you have other accessories, you're gonna either have to keep them on the inside or in a separate bag. The ukulele also comes with a tuner, and there are different settings on this particular tuner. You can set it to chromatic, guitar, bass, violin, or ukulele, and we're gonna set it to ukulele. Now let's put it on the ukulele, because I wanna show you how this particular tuner, it doesn't react to sound, so if I sing la, <laughs> there's nothing registering on this tuner, but it's feeling the vibrations in the strings. So if you play the string, now you see it's registering the G. And this is helpful because if you're in a noisy room, there's a lot of sound going on, you can still tune your ukulele perfectly with this tuner. And the tuner also includes a battery, which I just think is nice. And then you also get an extra pair of strings with this ukulele, which is just always good to have. So now let's look at the ukulele itself. Here's the ukulele. <laughs> let's start at the headstock. We have like this funky design up here. It's asymmetric, which I think looks pretty cool. And then on the back, we have these geared tuners, gold and black. On the fretboard, if we run our fingers up here, you can feel there's no sharp frets on the side, which is really nice because some of these beginner ukuleles will come with sharp frets and they cut up your fingers while you play. So none of that, which is good. The action on this ukulele is pretty low, which is nice because it's pretty comfortable to press down your strings. This ukulele also has a cutaway right here, which is nice if you want to play these notes right up here, these super high notes. And it also just looks cool in my opinion. So one of the things that initially drew me to this style was just, it's kind of unique looking. It looks pretty different from other ukuleles. And I think another part of that is the sound hole right here. It's not just a regular hole, it's the Enya logo. On the concert ukulele, you have an extra sound hole on the side, but on this soprano, you just have the one sound hole right here. And then it has this style of bridge, which is pretty simple for changing strings. All you have to do is tie a knot, slip it in the hole, and then pull it up to the tuners. It's one of the simpler styles for changing strings. This is also a thin bodied ukulele. It's called a travel sized. So it's even smaller than other sopranos that you'll see. And then there's no strap buttons on this ukulele. Nothing here or here. And then this ukulele is made out of one piece of carbon fiber. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the differences between carbon fiber and wood. There's a lot of practical differences between the two. So with carbon fiber, you're not gonna have to worry about weather because you can have this in a very hot climate, very cold climate. You can take it outside. It's actually even waterproof. <laughs> so you're not gonna have to worry about wood cracking or the tuning going out so much. With the carbon fiber, this instrument stays in tune a lot more easily because with wood, it's always expanding and contracting. So it changes things more easily. It's also a lot more durable. So maybe this would be a good ukulele for 
for like young kids or if you're like me and you leave your ukuleles on the floor <laughs> it's gonna be a lot harder to break this ukulele if you drop it or if someone like steps on it <laughs> you can also disinfect this ukulele my friend bernadette also made a review of this ukulele and pointed out that you can just spray it wipe it down as many times as you want so with covid going on right now that is a kind of cool feature of the carbon fiber <laughs> In terms of sound, I'd say it might be a little bit less warm than a wooden instrument would be, but not by a whole lot. I would say the bigger differences is that this seems a bit brighter than my wooden instruments and also actually a little bit louder. So now I'm going to play a little bit of it so you can actually hear what it sounds like. And that's about it. So in summary, I'd say this is a really good beginner ukulele. I love that the Enya brand always includes the accessories, they're good quality ukes, and they're not that expensive. It's also a really good travel ukulele and good for younger kids, so if you're a classroom teacher, this might be a good option for your students. I'll leave a link down below with more information in the description. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Let us know if you have an Enya ukulele, what you think of it. Let us know what you thought of this ukulele. And thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you again really soon. Bye.